Thanks, Paul. Um, I don't really know how to begin because uh, John, in many ways, actually just completely stole my thunder without I seem real. And often in these debates, what you're really looking for is you're, you're comparing vanilla ice cream with pineapple ice cream because they're just all archetypes for all ice cream. But I'm not pineapple ice cream, I'm just a pineapple. Right? <laughs> it's very prickly, very difficult to handle. And I must admit, I actually agree with everything that John says and would support everything that John says, but I would have a robust, persuasive, argumentative way of delivering, which actually can serve the RSU, I think, very well in their dealings with uh, CPD. So what is it that I want? Why do I want to be on the RIBA Council? Because the RIBA Council is like 60 on it. It's resplendent, well, that's called 58 resplendent, because I think you're thinking, and my thinking is a little lame. But it's resplendent from wall to wall, floor to ceiling, with people who want to talk about architecture. And I want to talk about architects. How they're paid, how they work, the conditions are done, the scope of services, the erosion of our position as lead consultant or lead of the profession. And why am I qualified to do this? Well, I'm also a qualified project manager, so I have a slightly unique perspective on it. I, I was chairman of the Association of Project Managers in Northern Ireland. I'm going to be the chair of the SIG Professional College in Northern Ireland, which is, if anyone knows, it's the one that sort of oversees all the professions. So I will, on behalf of the RSA on the SIG, be engaging in all these issues with CPD and local government. And I want to engage the RIBA to strengthen our argument. Will I change the RIBA's view? Highly unlikely. Will I make them think? Absolutely. But really, I want to use anything that we can get at the RIBA to further Northern Ireland architects <coughs> in Northern Ireland to get a better deal for Northern Ireland architects. And what does that mean? That means that we will produce better design and we will produce better architecture because if the conditions in which we work and the risk profiles in which we manage are improved, all these things begin to alleviate. And that is why I want to sit on the RS RDA Council. <laughs>